Good morning and welcome to Friday with the Rev. I'm Greg Johnson. I'm the president and CEO of GJP International. And here in New York City, I have the privilege of being the chief advisor to the CEO of Emblem Health for family caregiving. And this is a program that we've now been doing for nearly two years, dealing with family caregiving, faith, and spirituality. It's an informal conversation between us as we share these topics. And as many of you know, this all began as the result of some visits and some conversations and some sessions over the many years in Bali, where I had the privilege of having people come from various nations to talk about family caregiving, faith, and spirituality. And never have we been more united as a world than we are at this time of crisis. And so I invite you to join in this conversation. I invite you certainly to feel free to be in contact with me. And as always, the best email for that is gjohnson at Emblem Health. You'll be directed then how to make contact with this uh, particular email that I have here while we are not in the office, but we are very much open and we are very much serving. The entire caregiving team is working endlessly to provide resources and to provide support. And it is an incredible experience for many of us. We have talked of this since the AIDS crisis, and I'm not equating anything or anything beyond that other than without question that was one of the most formative and shaping experiences in my life where we were facing an enemy we had no idea what was going on we're in that situation again but we are blessed this time to have enormous technological resources we have the ability to be together right here and now we have the ability to say, I'm not sure how this is going, what's going to happen, but I do know we're going to get through it. And we are growing through the going through. It is simply this sort of technology allows us, it allows me to say to you, and I feel it coming from you, that we are not alone. And together, we will walk through this. And let us begin with a prayer that I have been using for the, um, this period since the pandemic has begun. So let us take a moment, a deep breath, quiet ourselves, and let us pray together. Oh Lord, thank you. Thank you for the promise that you will never leave us. No matter what is happening, no matter the difficulty, no matter the situation, you are there, your love surrounds us, and all for whom we care. Underneath are the everlasting arms, and into those precious arms, we surrender ourselves and our loved ones. Together with you, we will walk forward. We will grow through each and every experience, knowing that you are with us through it all. I will trust and not be afraid. For you, Father God, Mother God, are ever near. All I need to do is close my eyes, take a deep breath, and reconnect with the precious gift of life. The breath of God with which I was born. I now claim your divine presence in my life in every situation and circumstance and all is well. All is well now and forever. Amen. And our affirmations with this prayer 
these affirmations were written by the Reverend Marion Gambardella, and I'm going to be talking about her briefly in just a few moments. But let us listen to these affirmations together and claim them. Through the power of God in me, I am stronger than my fears. Whenever I feel afraid, I pray. I call a loving, accepting, and trusting friend. The joy of God wells up within me, and all is well. I am experiencing the comfort of God's presence in this moment, and they are so. Affirmations are extremely important. And when I wrote this book, Peace Be Still, said many years ago, I wrote it with the Reverend Marion Gambardella, and I'm going to share more about the work she does and some of the resources that she can perhaps be offering to you via the computer. However, when we wrote this book, we wrote them on prayers, and I asked her to do affirmations. And I want to read the definition that she has given us. An affirmation is a positive statement of faith. By affirming our oneness with God and praying for inner strength, we experience a peace. Always begin your affirmations, whether verbally or in mind. This I believe. Always end your affirmation with, thank you, Father, Mother God. The power of praise can bring about miracles, miracles of calm and peace. Now, this past week, I came across a group of affirmations, <coughs> excuse me, and I want to share them with you. <coughs> They're entitled, Affirmations in the Time of Quarantine. And I think they're quite important because they're extremely honest and they're very reflective of what is happening for all of us. And I hear this again and again with the many people with whom I'm speaking each and every day. I'm allowed to rest. I don't have to be productive to be worthy. My feelings are real. I am doing enough. I am allowed to take a break from the news cycle. That's so important. I deserve to be cared for even as I care. I am allowed to be fearful, but I don't need to dwell in that fear. I can spend extra time on myself. Eight extremely powerful affirmations and I will be posting those later on my Facebook page, Gregory Johnson, so that you will have the opportunity to take a look at those and perhaps restate them. I'm going to do them once more just so that you have them within your heart because they're things that we often get very busy caring for other people, but we know from all of our work in family caregiving that before I can care for you, I've got to care for myself. I've been doing that. I've been monitoring myself with certain temperatures and that sort of thing. All is well, but I need to be careful as I care for me. I have ways of helping many people by staying right in this apartment, using technology, and moving forward. So let's hear these affirmations one more time because they're very powerful. I'm allowed to rest. I don't have to be productive to be worthy. My feelings are real. I am doing enough. 
I am allowed to take a break from the news cycle. I deserve to be cared for, even as I care. I am allowed to be fearful, but I do not need to dwell in that fear. I can spend extra time on myself. May these bless you and may they help you as you are dealing with yourself and with others with whom you are dealing wherever in the world you might be. For never have we been more oneness than in this time of crisis. And let us find the blessing in that. Let us find the unity in our love and in our caring. And let us turn to the divine, however you may define that, wherever you are. We always pray at the end with Father Richard Rohr's prayer, in all the holy names of God. Wherever you may be in your spiritual faith journey, spend time being still and renewing your energy. Now, during the month of March, despite the fact of everything that we're going through, I have been focusing, because it has been the month of international women, and I have been focusing upon incredible women within the world of family caregiving. And today marks the end of, of that month, and I'm concluding with two women who are outstanding family caregivers and who have forever, who have forever been contributing to each and every person with whom they come in contact with love, peace, and caregiving. And each of them offers some wonderful resources that I think might indeed help you. Now, the first person of whom I'm speaking is Reverend Marion Gambardella. Now, Marion, you've heard me mention many times. Marion is a dear friend. Marion is a brilliant teacher. She is a theologian. She, for many years, was con, uh, very active with Dr. Eric Butterworth and in the incredible work of unity here in America and around the world. And Marion continues to write and has become a very close partner of mine in the world of family caregiving. At Emblem Health, we refer to the work that she's been doing as spiritual conditioning, helping people to find strength and faith find their inner God, their inner divinity, the breath of life. And Marion has done that through her writing. She has done it through her prayer work. And she has also been a leader in doing support groups. Now, Marion can be reached, and I have gotten permission from both of these ladies, to give out their emails, because that is the easiest way to get hold of them. Marion Gambardella. Now, to get a hold of Marion and to find out what support group she may be having, as well as she does this privately, but she does do con, uh, counseling work as well, and she can do that through the telephone and other media that are appropriate to the uh, virus at the moment. And Marion can be reached by email, and this is her email address. M a Gambardella, G A M B A R D E L L A. Marion M A Gambardella at yahoo.com. I'm going to spell it again for you. M A G A M. B A R D E L L A at yahoo.com. And Marion's website is marionagambardella.com. 
the full name, Marion A. Gambardella, Dot com. That is her website. And on it, I am sure that you will find many, many helpful pieces. I know it is filled with some wonderful uh, resources dealing with affirmations that she has done over the years, some of her talks, whatever it is that might indeed be of help. And Marion, like our second uh, honoree this, for this broadcast, is a co-chair of the Emblem Health New York City Partnership for Family Caregiving Corps. Marion has been a partner in caregiving from the very, very beginning. And so I urge you to take advantage of that as a resource. Marion Gambardella, again, M-A Gambardella at yahoo.com. That is her email address and she invites you also to make use of that. Now the second person of whom I'm speaking is Cynthia Burke. And Cynthia too has been a co-chair of the Emblem Health New York City Partnership for Family Caregiving Corps from the very beginning, an organization that helps to bring understanding and knowledge and resources in family caregiving to corporations. Now, Cynthia's background, she is also a minister, and I first came to know her through an organization known as Friends Indeed. That is an organization that was begun by the late actor-director Mike Nichols and his colleague, Cynthia O'Neill, Cy O'Neill as we call her. Uh, this organization for 25 plus years was one of the core support groups here in the New York City area and in many other parts of the world. However, recently, due to financial pressures, the organization itself closed, but the work has continued. And Cynthia Burke, who has been with Friends Indeed since its very, very beginning, continues to support and to work with people through Friends and Deeds Now incarnation, which is the big, the big groups at gmail.com. I have to get this correct. The big groups at gmail.com. Those are still happening and you could be part of them. They have been extraordinarily powerful in dealing with people who are dealing with death, who are dealing with dying, who are dealing with terminal illness, who are dealing with the fears of multiple comorbidities. And all brought together and by these wonderful, wonderful persons who are leading these. So if you're interested in that support, please go to the big groups at gmail.com. And in the meantime, Cynthia has also invited, because she too is doing counseling work, you can be in touch with her directly. C Burke 212 at gmail.com. Now I'll spell it out. C Burke, B U R K E, 212 at gmail.com. Now, both of these women join the very distinguished women of whom we've talked. We are blessed that the women have taught us so much about caregiving. The AIDS crisis taught us so much about caregiving. I'm grateful to Emblem Health that for 20 years, we have been bringing awareness, acceptance, and action to family caregiving so that now in an incredible worldwide pandemic and crisis, we have tools to use. And we also have one another because we found one another. And as I remind you, in America, we're known as family caregivers. The rest of the world were known as carers. So please use your technology as you seek to be helping others. And avail yourselves, please, of all of the wonderful 
uh, resources that are coming online. Many of the faith communities are doing extraordinary things. I'm very proud of my congregation, Marble Collegiate. They're having all sorts of online opportunities. Reverend Barbara Crafton, of whom you've heard me speak many, many times, does a weekly broadcast, and at times she's been doing a few others. Uh, Reverend Ed Zelli is doing morning prayer, noon prayer, evening prayer compline. These are wonderful ways to mark time within a day when we're unaccustomed to staying at home. It may not have been your tradition. You may not be of the tradition that has done that group of prayers. But having an anchor in the day to just say, oh, yes, I'm going to join that just for today. You don't have to do anything more than that. Try it for today. These are all steps that help to center us, help to guide us, help to give us strength so that as we care for ourselves, we can reach out and help others. And yes, reach out by phone, messengers, all the wonderful technologies, and I'm not going to name them because I'll get them all wrong, but I'm using each and every one of them, messenger, you name it, uh, WhatsApp, I love WhatsApp, I couldn't be talking to Donnie without that. It's wonderful ways of reaching out, sharing the caregiving, and giving love one to another. And now, as we come to the close of our program, I'm once again using Father Richard Rohr's very, very wonderful prayer. So please join me. As to, I needed to get rid of something there. Um, great technology. Let us take just a moment. As we conclude our time together, I will be back during the week. I've been doing a few moments with the Rev on and off as I have found a prayer, as I have found a need, as I have been aware because of consultations that I am doing with many, many people. There seems to be, there seem to be at times themes. And I feel that if I'm hearing it, if I'm experiencing it, perhaps it's a, something I need to go online and to share within a prayer within just a few moments. So there will be some moments with the Rev during the week. And then on Friday, we will have and continue to have, God willing, Friday with the Rev. So now in love, and if no one has said it to you this morning, I know it's early here, you are loved. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I thank you for your love and for your prayer. And together, we will make it through it. God with us. And let us pray. O oh, great love, thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you and all beings. Help us become a community that vulnerably shares each other's burdens and the weight of glory. Listen to our heart's longings for the healing of our world and for those whom we name presently, and I invite you to name them verbally or in your hearts. Knowing you are hearing us better than we are speaking, we offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me here at Friday with the Rev. God bless. I'll see you soon.